So I think it was Murphy session two. Um, it obviously, what comes into value is all of the scores from all the tests, uh, navigation, map reading, shooting, your ACMT, CBRN tests, all of it comes into play. Obviously the highest score goes to the best section, which is a uh, fair play to them, which will Murphy section two. Obviously you've got their cat badges here. Obviously with the power of the carrot, no clue why that is. Um, so yeah, obviously the Scoff House around itself is obviously a big area. You've got your, your, your drink selection, coffees, whatever you do, you've got your toaster if you want to, because obviously the queue's going to be very manic in the morning, you can have it short and quick with just a bowl of cereal and some toast. Um, I'll show you around for some of the food. Uh, the food's alright, um, ain't, it, ain't, it ain't Gaucho's five star, but it fills you up and that's all you need to know. So obviously uh, uh, queue for uh, breakfast, obviously having a nice fry up. You see the pass out boys here himself, you've got selection over here. Um, so yeah, you've got recruit millet. <laughs> Where about you from? Uh, I'm from Swindon. Uh, I'm going to the Royal Signals as a communications engineer. Why did you join? Uh, I joined the army for, I think for like a bit of like teamwork. I enjoyed teamwork and sport. I really wanted to play sport, a lot of sport. That was the main reason why, I think. Yeah, so. Nice, nice. Which that's a big thing in the army. If you want to do it, you can do it. It's all free. Sports, qualifications, trade, anything you want to do. See, we've got Collingworth. Where are you joining? Royal Engineers, Cup. Why is that? Why have you joined the army? Joined the army to change my life, better myself, and it's definitely done that at phase one. You got fire P, you got Continental, which could be croissants. Yeah, pastry food as it is itself. So uh, yeah, I'll just wait for him to get their food and I'll go uh, detail you himself. Let's see, we go around here, you've got some more recruits around here, I'll come take you. We've got selection, which you would join when you uh, do your selection for a few days. Also, you've got Hardy. Uh, what are you going into? Uh, Royal Signals, I am. As a communication systems engineer, but it's been restructured as a cyber engineer. So, yeah. Why did you join the army then? Uh, I joined the army because it's a balance of both worlds. I was considering uh, uni to start off with um, and the social life that it comes uh, with it, but also the apprenticeship route um, for like the pay aspect of uh, learning on the job. Uh, but then I looked at the armory and it had the best of both worlds. You've got university, like the social life, you're with your boys 24 hours a day, living with them, eating with them, completing activities with them, even when times are tough. And then you've got the apprenticeship side of the army where you actually get paid, um, even though it doesn't feel like you should get paid because half the things are like uh, shooting and things, which are normally things you're paid for. So, yeah. Nice. Um, Hardy, best recruit. Um, which he did a win, which he did win, so uh, good on him. Um, very hard working uh, young man. Obviously, you've got people getting their breakfast now. So you've got your baked beans, you've got your chopped tomatoes, porridge, so if you want to be a bit greedy. And obviously, fried toast, obviously, hash browns as well. So, it, it, you can't complain, it's a nice grab. So, obviously, breakfast is served. Um, you've got people that obviously, this is uh, one section, Christopher Cooler. Whereabouts are you from then? Um, originally from Fiji, but I reside in Oxford. Uh, what, what did you join the army then? Um, family tradition really, everyone's in the army, so decided to join it just to make my life up a bit. Nice, nice, nice. We'll see over here we've got recruit Myrna, best recruit, very important man. Why, why did you join the army? Uh, career base, you wanted to go abroad and want to fence off pretty much. Nice. nice. Obviously, some people are eating. I try not speak speak with their mouth full. Recruit Wolf, best drill. He, uh, one of the awards he wins. Do you want to talk about why he joined the army? <laughs> After you finished. Really... There were no work. On <laughs> Simi Street. There were no work on Simi Street. You got recruit George McCarran. Why did you join the army, George? Uh, keep yourself out of trouble, and yeah, it's a good career. 
Good career. Yeah. Recruit Lindsay, uh, best BT. Um, I'll try and go up and speak about him. Lindsay? Do you want to come here, come here, come here. So, uh, where are you from? Uh, Manchester. Why do you join the army then? To, um, to reverse the decline at the ripe old age of 30. <laughs> reverse the decline. So, how old are you? I'm 30, yeah. yeah. Um, things weren't things were sliding so I thought check yourself get in join the army push yourself I don't want to sit at a desk you know let's go see what we can do lovely words very poor man used to be a university teacher it shows what how, how life can change around um, you've got recruit McAuliffe who got recruits recruit where about where about you from Bournemouth from Bournemouth yeah so uh, why, why do you join the army why did I join the army? To get away from my missus. Yeah. That's my head in. <laughs> See, I think we've got section three over here. I think we don't win in air room. Best section, so they say, with Corporal Garung himself. If you wanna... We'll see. What do you think of your CMS here this year? Yeah, it's been uh, very good, uh, this CMS. And this section, my section, uh, I find it one of the good section so far. And. Uh, I wish them all the best for the bright future and if you need anything in future do not hesitate to ask me I'm always there to help you all and this includes all my troop all the best Thank you. really good section commander very helpful very educational he takes uh, pride in his work which is a great thing what do why you join the army then uh, because I fancy to um, a challenge from my other careers that I've had and I also <laughs> just thought yeah, I think at uh, 27 years old, if I can do it, anyone can do it. Lovely. Um, where, about, <laughs> um, where, where are you moving on to next? <laughs> now thought at the moment. <laughs> um, I'm moving on to Leckenfield, outside Hull, where I'll start my phase two training for the Royal Logistic Corps. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. What have you gone into RLC for? Sorry? What have you gone into the Royal RLC for? Uh, dry, uh, why? Um, it's just because of the how much uh, travelling I get to do out of it and also um, the amount of sports that they do as well like skiing and football and yeah just looking for nice as recruit digs uh, which one do you get into uh, plant systems operator which for the Royal Engineers yeah, Royal Engineers where are you going to if you face who then uh, Jabal Barracks so why choose Royal Engineers I needed, I needed a qualification when I come out and hopefully I'll spend the rest of my life in the, in the army. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, I needed I needed something to take with me once I come out, besides the pride. So I've got I've got that job role behind me when I come out, so I can do something else. Lovely. Um, we'll see. Multiple call. I've gone into world engineers myself from working on site for multiple years onto the further myself, which is everyone else here and everyone I think in Perth Bright wants to do with himself. So it's a, it's a Great, great thing to do. If you ain't done it, jump on it. Why not? What are you going in as? Uh, the Remy. Why have you chose Remy? Oh, because it's the best regiment, that's why. <laughs> nah, it's because um, I'm a former mechanical background, so I just thought join the Remy, live the best life. He does look like a mechanic, to be fair, he does, doesn't he? He looks like he works on Coronation Street. What troop are you in? Uh, Murphy Troop. You want best section, am I right? Correct. So, uh, how old are you? 34. 34. Why did you join the army? Uh, for a lifestyle change, really, more than anything. Yeah. Nice. So, uh, what were you doing before the army? I was a driving instructor. I've been for 10 years. So that was recruit White. White. Uh, best section. We also got recruit Gil. Gil. Randall. <laughs> what were you going into? Um, signals. For electronic warfare operator. That's my trade. Very intelligent. Why have you joined the signals? Why not? Balawakula. We uh, we join into Royal Engineers. To do what? Uh, Dan Draftsman. Nice. So where are you from originally? From Fiji. We also got recruit. Do you want to speak to the camera? Why, why, why join in the army? Just because I can. <laughs> We've also got recruit Irish. We don't know his name. We just know he's Irish. So that's all his name is. Uh, we're going in as uh, comms engineer. For the signals. Yep. Why we chose signals? Uh, I'm a, just a, t a bit of a tech nerd, so I thought it's right for me, you know. <laughs> Crew. Muff. Mouth. Mouth. Yeah, 
What are you going in for? What reg? AGC. What's that mean? Adjutant General Corps. SPS. Oh. A clerk. Why would you join the army? I want to pay you for a change. <laughs> oh, nice. Well, we speak over here. Snow Angel. Yeah, what are you going in for? What are you going in as? Chef. Chef. Why would you join the army? Uh, I just wanted a change. A change. Yeah. Right. We've got, we got also Miss White over here. Yeah. Who loves a show parade on a Sunday. Yeah. Why would you join the army? Sorry, Sergeant. Um, we're going to the next table now. <laughs> um, okay, all right. Um, all the same, all the same. Sergeant, if you want, do you want to describe how your CMS has been for the past 14 weeks? Started off shocking, got a little bit better. Went downhill, slightly uphill, downhill a bit, and then we're here. What are you joining in as? Um, Remy as a vehicle mechanic. Why have you joined the army then? Oh, there's many different answers to that question. I joined the army because one, there was no other way I could have gone because my grades weren't that good. Yeah. Two is I just I like the idea of everyone being together. Yeah. That, that's that's about it. Well, I don't believe any of that <laughs> so far. <laughs> We've all got a call. We've got a call with Prevost. For the past 14 weeks, how do you think your section has has gone through? They've done well, quite well, I would say, you know. They've surpassed the standards I expected. They smashed Herring Troop, you know what I mean? So, you know, they've done to, they've performed quite well, and I'm quite happy with their performance across the board. So you wish well for them in phase two? Say again? You wish well for them in phase two? Of course I do. I know they'll do well. I expect great things from them. As it Lovely words from a section commander. Hope you enjoy your breakfast. We got we got Draper over here, yeah. Essex lass. <laughs> what are you going in as? Uh, communications and the signals. What is a career before being at home? But yeah. <laughs> well that's that. Lovely troop over here, some nice individual people, yeah. You know what? We got we got section. Well, one section over here, not a number order, that's how it is. Riddler. Yes, mate. We going in as? Oh, uh, electronic warfare, signals, intelligence, and the Why signals, mate. The army, then? Well, it's what I've always wanted to do, lad. All right. <laughs> we got. Uh, I don't know. Corporal. Over the following weeks, how do you think your section's got on? It's terrible. Yeah, we're actually the worst. Yeah, we're they're the best. They're the best section. They do, they narrowly missed out on best section. One section, best section. Yeah. Yeah. What are you going in as? I'm changing to the engineers, but at the minute, artillery. Nice. Right. Right. Do you want to speak? Not no, all right. Happy days. So, do you want to speak? Yeah. Sure. We're going in as? Royal Engineers. Well, why, have you why have you chosen Royal Engineers? Because it's best suited for myself, being a brickie. Nice. Nice. Paul, Paul, how do you think your section has gone on for the past 40 weeks? It's got a mouthful, but. <laughs> <laughs> Well, your past weeks, your CMS, how they got on? Yeah, I'm at best. So. Best? Yeah, I'm at best. Well. Oh, really I'll tell you how it's a lot. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. My section oh. commander doesn't really like us. <laughs> <laughs> In the last section, we've got... Two section, best section. Two section. Why are you doing number order? <laughs> <laughs> Corporal Past four weeks, how do you think the troops got on? Uh, very, very well, thank you very much. Section, section. Section, thank you. Section, two section Murphy troop. They deserve it. They put all the effort in, all the hard work, and then finally today. Do you wish well for them in place two? Sorry? Do you wish well for them in place two? I wish them all the best for their future successes and endeavours. I think they can achieve greatness. Yeah, I do, yeah. Lovely, lovely. lovely. Who else wants to speak? What are you going in as, young man? I'm going in as a driver in the RLC. Why have you chosen the RLC? It's the best call you can go into. Okay. <laughs> Whitney, what are you going in as? Um, adjutant's general school. Why have you chosen the British Army? Eh? Uh? Why have you chosen the British Army? You put me on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> you got an answer? No. Right, what are you going in for? Uh, Remy, VM. Where are you from? I'm from Reading, Maidenhead, on Maidenhead, near Reading. 
What have you chosen the army? Uh, the culture, the career, and the lifestyle. Oh. Clock for that, a hey, good crack that is. So, so we're gonna go round. That was Murphy or Masters, one of them. I don't have a Scooby. Yeah. So she said, by the camera, give it a little ta-da, uh, ta-da. Yeah, this was uh, obviously the cookhouse, last time in here for the morning. Uh, very emotional time, but it's a great experience. Um, great things to learn, great things to knowledge. The past 40 weeks, I've learned an example and that knowledge, which I've in my career. Um, and hopefully they'll exceed in phase two. Um, very excited for phase two, getting nervous. Um, the fear of the unknown, I like to say, but uh, you see, someone's got to start, so everyone's got to start somewhere. So, uh, face to it, here it is in Gibraltar. I hope you've enjoyed the tour of uh, Perbright Camp with 96 Squadrons Block and a Scoff House here itself. Um, yeah, so if you, if you haven't joined, you're wasting your time, you need to jump on it. If you've got the time, if you're free. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Short little uh, preview of Herbright, Scoffass, and 96 Gosham's block. Oh, I miss the experience a lot. Um, I think it's also from joining, from joining, um, a, going into a room for the so many people which you never met, never met before. And 40 weeks down the line, down the line, you, uh, you treat them people like family, brothers in a way. So um, it's 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 the best thing to do. I've uh, made so many friends. I think that's the main thing. Um, but it's, uh, it's, it's very nervous coming in, it's the fear of the unknown, but when you meet them people after 14 weeks long and uh, you, you great bond with them, it's yeah something you can't forget. So, yeah. So I see you later in Armoury. Armoury, yes, yeah. for the rifles. We get ready for pass out. So yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Laters.